Hi and welcome to SQL tutorial in Microsoft Access. This tutorial is actually at a request of this guy here. Let me show you his message. Um, how do I create employee table in Microsoft Access using SQL? Please create a video. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, let's click on create new this blank page and I'm going to just call that employee SQL okay that's good enough click on create there we go okay that's the development environment ready you see this very table we don't need it so I'm gonna close that table let's come straight to where we have create all right up here click on create and we then want to select query design click on query design and you see this show table I'm gonna close that I don't need that what we need is right here SQL and right underneath here let's see if I can show you guys that there is SQL right underneath here right here that is it right there it's either you click on that or you can just click on SQL here SQL viewer okay so once that is done the first thing you want to do is since you want to create your very first project my man out there so all you just need to say is create that is the command I'm gonna say table and I will call it the table name is going to be employee so enter employee now let's enter parenthesis there then you open and close the bracket okay then you come in here let's say you want to enter your employee id so i'm going to copy that instead of typing again employee id in this case let's assume your employee id is going to be the primary key so let's assume it's going to be in numbers anyway i'm going to say numbers you can also enter integer so i'm going to say number now let's say not no and it's going to be my primary key and there we go so it's not going to be empty it's very filled and it's my primary key okay then let's say you want to enter this first name you can say first name and the first name is going to be voucher okay which means that's going to be a string character i'm going to make that about 50 that's a bit too much for a first name but that's okay the next one let's assume you want to go for surname and we enter surname in there and let's say the surname is about 50 as well and your address let's say we have the address right there and the address let's assume you making that about 150 characters then if you have a postcode and your postcode should be a space in there postcode let's say is virtual as well and the postcode i'm gonna make that about maybe 10 i think that's a bit yeah that should do then what else after postcode let's go for gender your employee gender I'm going to make that virtual and we make that about eight characters. What else do you want from your staff? Date of birth, and we can just the data type for that. Look at it, it's going to be date time there. Okay, mobile number just in case you want to get in touch with your employee. That's going to be number. Enter a comma. What about their email address? There we go. And that's their email address. And let's say that's about 100, which is a bit too much. Okay, that's it. That's all. I think everything should be ready now. So looking at it, I think that's fine. So all they need to do is let's come back to my design here. We just need to click on run. There we go look at your table right there if i double click on your table 
check this out look at that okay and if you like you can even right click and go to design view there look at all of those data in your design view so that is how you create your own table using sql command and you can also save your query let's come in here save as and i'm going to call that employee yeah employee query then query there we go save there in the second tutorial i will show you how to insert data into it so with that i'm going to call it the end of this brief tutorial i hope i've been able to help you take care and have a nice one